Hey, what is up, DOT community? This is Jaeger bringing you another event rundown, this time for Gods at War, the individual soul event. This one here featuring the return of the Norse gods, Loki and Thor, who are going on their uh, little showdown and uh, your opportunity to once again earn both of them, this time during a single event. Here you'll be getting a 1.3 boost for any four-star champions or infiltrators and a 1.1 for any three-star champs or infills. Again, your ultimate goal is working towards receiving both Thor and Loki because the devs have made it quite clear that they will be very important in working towards future Norse gods such as Valkyrie and Odin. Now, to kind of give you just an overall rundown of the event itself, uh, a little over three days, uh, just Still using our uh, type of uh, storm relics here uh, to get those different uh, soul boosts. Uh, as an overall event rundown, here's basically what you have coming up in Gods at War. We've got one bonus token. We have three storm tokens. We've got 150 portal stones. We've got 5,450 gems. We've got one epic token. We have two two-star relics, four three-star relics, and eight four star relics we also have two two star relics both uh sorry two two star titans both at level 10 one three star titan at level 10 and then two four star titans which would be loki and thor uh, now overall between the value of everything you're looking at a value from the received goods uh, at 98,900, not counting the gems. Once you throw those gems on top of there, you've got a grand total value at 104,350 gems. So that's the value. If you can put yourself into this at even half of that, well, that's a pretty damn good reward and value for what your essential cost is, especially since you're getting some pre-level Titans. That's like pulling epic tokens, but this time you kind of uh, know what you're getting. So let's actually get into the milestones for what you are getting. This time here, we do start out a little bit different. The very first reward being that bonus token, which means you just get that extra free daily pull, so to say. Uh, we then also go into 50 portal stones. We've got our first storm token at 80 souls. And you've got 100 gems at 150 souls. Now, if you take a look at these milestones, you'll see it is a 24,000 soul event. And this first purple tier wraps up at 1,750. So as we keep going, we've got a two-star Herrick. Again, remember, he will be a level 10 Titan. We've got 100 portal stones at 750. That's your grand total of 150. At 1,000, we've got the Song of Storms. We've got 250 gems at 1,250 in this uh, still the purple tier category. Now, the Song of Storms is pretty okay relic uh and we continue to see that whole lightning theme continued throughout with every single relic that we pretty much have uh we've got dragon helm at 1500 and halstead here at 1750 is your last two star titan again level 10 so great food or even just a good start to a land defender for any brand new players to the game. At 2,000 souls, we've got our second storm token. And then at 2,250, we've got the three-star scimitar. Now we are working our way into the blue tier now, which is the second. And this maxes out at 3,000 souls. Continuing, we've got 600 gems. We've got the three-star halberd and the three-star manfred. Now manfred here is going to be, again, a level 10 Titans, so you get them pre-leveled, which is pretty nice. That wraps up your blue category. Uh, now from here, we switch over into bronze. With bronze, we kick off at 4,000, and this goes all the way through to 9,000. We get our third storm token right here. Uh, again, at the very beginning of the bronze category, we then move into 1,000 gems at the 5,000 soul mark. We now go into the brand new Norse God relics, which are both released with Thor and Loki. We've got the Belt of Deceit at 6,500 souls. We've got the Belt of Aesir at 8,000 souls. This came from the Thor event, where the Deceits come from the Loki event. And we've got the all-new Shield of the Gods. This is the three-star at 9,000 souls. Now, this starts out with Titan and the Army and Lightning Damage at 15%. We'll look more at the four-star so you can get an idea, but just know that that one starts at 15%. We'll talk about that in a moment. Continuing into the silver category here, we've got 1,500 gems at the 10,000 soul mark. This silver category goes all the way up to 14,000 souls. We've got the Boots of Icear. This is a four-star relic. And the Boots of Deceit, four-star relic, respectively at 11,000 and 12,000 souls. And then an epic token at 13,000 souls. So again, we get that one and only epic token right there. 
Moving on, we wrap up the silver category with Loki at 14,000 souls. Now, he does come only at level 1. He's not a pre-level 4-star, so it's the same as whether or not you did the grind for him individually or here, you're still only getting a level 1. We then go to the gold tier, which starts out at 15,000 souls. This will go all the way up to 20,000. We get 2,000 gems. We get the 4-star Braces of Deceit and the 4-star Shield of Aesir. Again, if you want to see what these relics each do, you can always go back to the individual Loki and Thor event videos on my channel. At 20,000 souls, we do get 4-star Thor. Again, level 1, so this is your second opportunity to get both of these Norse God Titans. We then switch over into the Platinum tier, which kicks off at 21,000 souls and will go all the way to 24,000. And this includes the Cape of Deceit and the Cape of Aesir, both 4-stars. And we get the 4-star version of the all-new Shield of the Gods. Now, we're going to take a look at this and just kind of give you an idea of where this is at, what they showed on the live stream. Uh, the Shield of the Gods at level 10 four star does 30 percent titan and army and lightning damage now comparing that to the three star which starts out at 15 percent this one here starts out at 20 percent and gains 10 percent so i'm assuming the three star only gains five percent and goes from 15 percent to 20 percent makes sense great let's go to the next two skills health for all troops at 24 percent and titan armor at 30 percent my guess is on the three star you're gonna be somewhere around 12 percent and then also 20 percent maybe max for the titan armor from here, we'll roll into the individual ranking rewards. Uh, again, we see the return of kind of an alternation with the uh, Titans. Uh, the very top player will get a level 40 Thor. Second ranked player will get a level 30 Loki. Third ranked player will get a level 20 Thor. And the fourth and fifth ranked players will get a level 10 Loki. So again, if you make it in the top five, you're going to be getting another one of these pre-leveled Norse gods, which could make it the third opportunity for you to get one. From there, we go to the top six through ten ranks, which is getting a level five Siegfried. Now, why is because the event here is basically a champion and infiltrator, uh, which we then see rank 11 through 50 gets a level one four star Sarkon. Now, again, don't forget that infiltrators and champions have taken over the temple, so you can get additional ones there, not including Loki and Thor. Rank 51 through 100 gets the Orb of Duality shot at it again, and an epic token at 101 through 250. From there, we go into pretty standard setup with the gems. Rank 251 through 500 get 3,500 gems. 501 through 750 get 2,000 gems. Rank 751 through 1000 gets 1500 gems, and rank 1001 to 2000 gets 750 gems. So, again, if you fall anywhere in there, then you can also walk away with a few additional gems. But do keep in mind and remember this is an individual rank, not an alliance rank, which also means that if you were to jump at all during these events, your progress stays where it is. Wrapping up the gem rewards at 250 gems, you need to fall between 2,001 and 10,000 in rank. So what do you guys think of this event rundown and the overall return of these two Norse gods? Are you looking forward to getting uh, both of them if you don't have them already? Do you already have them? Are you going to be getting a second one? And if you get a second one, which one do you prefer better, your original or the all-new one? Let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know if you'll be using them as a look forward to getting your hands on Valkyrie and Odin in the future. Again, I'm Gavin Yeager. Thanks for watching, and I'm signing out.